In this video, we'll discuss about the causes of GRD. Now, what is GRD? It is basically the reflux of the acid which occurs. It results in the inflammation of the esophagus leading to esophagitis because of the H positive ions, pepsin and bile. Uh, we will just discuss about the etiology in this video, but I've given an overview. So what happens is basically uh, we see ulceration, we see heartburn, we see uh, uh, we see uh, the retrosternal burning uh, sensations, we see sore irritations, uh, te uh, taste, we see acid erosion of the teeth and uh, then uh, in the uh, diagnosis you can do manometry barometry also by barium metal you can uh, do CT scan as well uh, then we can also uh, do the endoscopy then there is also one test in which you put the electrodes 24 hour and you monitor them in the treatment what we basically do is uh, first of all for the heartburn uh, we, we give basically uh, uh, proton pump inhibitors uh, like rantidine, omeprazole, lamiprazole and uh, famotidine, cimetidine, mosapride and then uh, also because one of the precipitating factors of GRD is stress so we also give antidepressants uh, like amitriptyline and so on or not triptyline then uh, if it is severe then we can do fundal plication surgery uh, now coming on to the causes so the causes are important difficult to remember so I made a video for them so first of all uh, what we see is if there is an impaired tone of esophageal sphincter now this can be seen in hiatus hernia when there is long term nasogastric intubation, when there is diabetes mellitus, when there is surgery of esophagus. Then uh, when the uh, tone fails to increase, so the lower esophageal sphincter low, low, LOS tone fails to increase because of the raised intra abdominal because of the raised intra-abdominal pressure. Now this is uh, basically during pregnancy, obesity, hiatus, hernia, ascites. Okay. Now when there is reduction in the LOS tone, then also it can occur. Now when does uh, reduction in the tone occurs? When we take fatty food or we take caffeine. All right. Then the fourth factor you need to remember is when there is impaired esophageal mucosal resistance. Now this can occur when there is history of smoking, alcohol, then when there is delayed gastric emptying. Now this is seen in diabetic patients also in anticholinergic drug users. Then when the gastric contents are ready to ejaculate, gastric contents are ready for reflux. So basically at night time or post randomly. All right. So first of all, impaired tone of the esophageal sphincter, then fails to increase, then mucosal resistance, reduction of the LOS tone, uh, then the delayed gastric emptying and then gastric contents are ready for reflux.